Hello, assholes. Oh, just kidding. Today I'm going to talk about having an open mind and how it actually has such an optimistic outlook on everything. I mean, granted, I probably have... I have an open mind, but I probably could be more open-minded things. But for the most part, I could say I'm pretty open-minded. I'll accept other people's beliefs unless they're completely bullshit, but even then. And yeah, I don't know. Well, many people... They don't like to have their their own beliefs threatened. They don't like opposing beliefs. That's why they try to shut them down. You cannot believe something else. Or you can believe something and deny something else, but still have an open mind towards it. Like, I mean, fuck that. You can't deny it. You can believe something and not believe something else, but you can still, like, have an open mind towards it. Like, religion is probably one of the biggest things. You can be a true Christian... <clears throat> and obviously not believe other religions, but you can at least maybe accept the fact like that is a possibility because claiming your own religion or something as big as that is 100% true. That's just nonsense because nobody has a clue. It's interpreted very differently among pretty much every believer. Like you can't say it's 100% true and you can't deny that Islam is wrong or any other fucking religion out there you can't deny that because you have no actual proof that it is incapable more than your religion you can be accepting of all of it but you don't have to believe it but you can definitely like take into consideration if that is actually eligible to happen equally as much as yours is and just with anything like i don't know when people Say you're strong, you have a strong belief on fucking something. I don't know, marijuana being legalized. That's a stupid issue, I don't give a shit, but something like that. If someone that opposes that thinks it shouldn't be legalized, many times people will be narrow-minded and they'll be like, just fuck that, like totally shoot down all their ideas instead of just sitting down and listening to it, taking in consideration of what they have to say. Like, you may not be for it, but they could bring up some good points. And if you just have a nice discussion that doesn't lead up into some stupid argument, you can actually learn things. You can still stay strong in your beliefs and keep your point, like, accurate for what you think about it. But it doesn't mean you have to completely, like, be a douchebag just because you don't, you think yours is more right any more than theirs. Especially opinionated stuff because there isn't a right or wrong. It's just that's your belief, that's your opinion. And that's why I think people get mixed up. They get beliefs mixed up for facts. A belief is just your own personal interpretation of any situation or object or feeling, etc. A fact is true knowledge just like that, like it can't be changed. And that's what I feel like people get mixed up. They think, oh, this is my belief, mine's correct, which it's, no. You can't prove it, you can't disprove it. You just have to be accepting of shit, but still, you can still stay true to yourself. And I think having an open mind definitely creates less problems because it opens doors to innovation, it opens doors to knowledge, creating, creativity, I mean, all that shit, because you're not just segregating yourself from whole other options of discussions and arguments and beliefs and stuff. You're just free thinking. You can pretty much take a concept, boom, you can analyze it, then from there decide like wow I don't agree with that or I do agree with that because most people just they hear it's opposite there's fuck it dude I don't like it like that's just being narrow minded like create further boundaries for your knowledge and stuff you can learn because you'll meet more people you'll get along better you won't be ar as argumental as much because you're not going to be totally trying to shoot down people's ideas but Instead, you'll be learning from their perspective or even trying to understand the perspective. That's at least a good start is trying to understand someone else's perspective, whether you agree or not. I mean, unless you're talking total bullshit that makes absolutely no fucking percent of sense at all, you should still take in at least a little consideration of what they're saying because everyone views differently. Personality traits aren't a common thing or aren't the same thing among everyone. Obviously, everyone has different personality traits, so you can't really, I don't know, get mad, I guess, at some people for disagreeing with certain things. It is hard. I can definitely 
understand where people are coming from when they get mad at others for like especially if you're truly passionate about a certain topic or an idea and people are totally just shitting on it and shooting down it's so easy to get like into your own little corner and try to back yourself up out of it and that's perfectly fine that's like it's almost like common defense against your beliefs against your passions and that's totally acceptable because some people do try to just go in and fucking boom you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong and that that's wrong if you're not like there's no point to it if you have no intention other than just trying to disprove someone's passion or beliefs like I don't know, we're saying it's wrong, it's just stupid, but, yeah, I don't know, it's just, narrow minded is not really that good of a quality, I don't know, because, I don't know, pretty much all I gotta say on that. Have a good mind, be willing to learn from others, share your concepts. Being an open mind is just makes stuff easier, makes you happy. We could all work on it, I mean, everyone can open their mind a little more than they normally do, but even just being respectable of others' opinions, you don't have to be a dick. Ah. Uh. So yeah, pretty much it. Have a great fucking night.